the start of each clinical session, we need to prepare our bay. We need to disinfect our work surfaces and our chairs. Before we disinfect our bay, we need to put our PPE on, which is our goggles, mask and gloves. We put our goggles and our mask on first, so we're not touching our hair with gloved hands. So on goes your mask. You tie it in a bow at the back. Pull it round, make sure you've got a nice gap at the bottom. This should stop your glasses from steaming up. And tie it at the bow at the back of your neck. Just make sure you've got a nice bit of room so you do not steam up. Next, you place your glasses on. And you use the alcohol rub on your hands. Now, the alcohol rub takes a little while to dry. So you may see members of staff on clinic waving their hands. Once the alcohol rub is completely dry, select the gloves in your size and place them on. Now you make sure your work surfaces are completely clear of clutter. And each clinical bay has one of these washing up bowls. This washing up bowl contains everything you need for disinfecting and setting up your bay. Now for disinfection of work surfaces, we use the Azo wipes with the red lid. And I wipe down my work surfaces, including my handles. When you're finished with an azo wipe, it goes in the clinical waste bin. When we disinfect the chair, we do it in sections. For the hard surfaces on the chair, we use azo wipes again. I personally start with the light. I do the handles on both sides of the light the supporting bar and the back of the light and then go up and across the arm of the light. I dispose of my azo wipe and I do the bracket table section. I wipe the switches and the handle, the actual bracket table as well as the arm. I then take each of the hand instruments out and wipe along the entire cable. Close my eyes and wipe again. Okay, you wipe down both sides of the spittoon. I leave the spittoon to last because it's the muckiest part of the job. You then wipe the taps <laughs> and the spittoon. Take out the basket to make sure there's no debris. If there is, please dispose of it in the clinical waste bin and then wipe over the lid. Dispose of your wipe in the clinical waste bin, wipe over the nurse's switches and each of the suction tubing. I move on to the soft surfaces. We do not use azo wipes on our chairs because they are made of leather. The azo wipes dry out the leather which causes it to crack, which gives a nice host environment for microorganisms. So what we do with our chair is we wash it with a combination of water and hibby scrub. 
You literally just wipe it down. Now you can allow this to dry naturally or you can just wipe it down with paper towel. Okay, once you've disinfected your bag, you need to change your gloves because these gloves are now dirty and reapply a new set. Now we use Disposal shield number one, commonly referred to as stickies. They're perforated, so you literally just tear and we place this on any surface that the clinician or the nurse is likely to touch. So they go on the light handles on both sides. And for reassurance for the patient, we also stick them on the patient arm list. Okay, you place a sticky over the switches and over the handle for the bracket table. You then use disposal shield number two or sheaths to cover each one of the handpiece attachments. And you repeat this on each and every one. Right, the nurse's chairs are height adjustable. You can tell which one's the nurse's chair by the metal bar around the base. What I want is my arm rest to be around my waist so I can lean backwards, forwards and to the side without falling off. And then I want to adjust the height of the seat so my legs are at right angles.